day 22 of this uh, never-ending story, we'll just call it. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's been very, it's been made very clear to me over and over again that my flu Manchu looks like pubic hair on my face. I don't think so. I just think it's, it, I, I don't grow facial hair that great. So I figure I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm just going to keep this growing. Now I'm letting my hair grow out. So I'm just doing different stuff with it today. Uh, but I, I, I got a couple messages that said, how am I holding up? A couple phone calls. That seems to be the, the common question. How you holding up? How you holding up? Because a lot of people, I don't know if you realize, but today's April 6th. For a majority of the shutdowns across the country, this was the date. This was the original date. It was April 6th. We're going to be shut down to April 6th, and we'll see what happens. And then it's been extended. It's definitely going into May. I think everybody knows that. We might be in denial, but we're going. it's going into May. And I saw a, saw a uh, I don't know how people are experts on pandemics and stuff, but one, one that made the most sense was week one and two was denial. And then week three and four was panic. And then week five and six was you got it. We we're, we we got this lockdown, quarantine life. We know how to live it now. Then day seven and eight is when we start to come back out. And then it's almost like a, a POW getting released. You're just slowly coming back out. So I guess this is week four. This is the beginning of week four. So we're still in the panic mode. So hopefully next week it's kind of autopilot is what I'm hoping. But how I'm holding up is uh, I think I'm built for this. Growing up in a trailer park like I was, I mean, I was grounded half my uh, half my high school days. I was grounded to my room. So the the one thing about being grounded to your room in a trailer park is one, the trailer isn't that big. Two, I did have my own room uh, in high school, so there was a big bay window in front of the trailer. So I literally would just sit and talk to people outside my window. On my, and like kids would come up and I'd be BSing with them. And then on the weekends was the best though. Cause at night, uh, there was a bar that stood right outside the trailer park. So a lot of guys from the trailer park would just walk up to this hole in the wall bar. And then they come back that night. So when they came back, that's when you see a lot of stuff would go down. But this one night in particular was funny because there was a trailer next door to ours. And... <laughs> It's just funny to think about. I guess the lady that was living next door to us, her boyfriend, I don't think they were married, her boyfriend went up to the bar. And he was kind of a racist redneck dude, but uh, cowboy boots was always, he was just a racist redneck dude. And uh, she started sleeping with this other guy in the trailer park. So the guy, her boyfriend was walking back from the bar back to the trailer. So I guess somebody called her or knocked on the door and told her, you know, like, Johnny's coming. Johnny's on his way back. And literally, I saw the dude that she was sleeping with jump out their front window with nothing but his underwear on, closing his hand, and took off back to his trailer. And then the girl, she comes out. She got a robe on and slippers, and she stops him in the middle of the street. And he's still drunk. I remember he was sitting there. And he was like, hey, draw, partner. And then he, uh, <laughs> and she was, she came up and he goes, why are you in your robe? And she goes, nothing, I just want to see, I was going to come up and get you and see what you was doing. And he goes, well, why don't you get dressed? It still ain't registering to him that she was sleeping with another dude. Then they go in the trailer and that's when the shit hit the fan. Because I don't know if the dude left the shoe a belt buckle, a skull dip can, uh, a Paps Blue Ribbon that wasn't his. I don't know. But the shit hit the fan, and then he comes storming out, and he's cussing. And he's like, I'm going to go kick his ass. I'm going to go kick his ass. And then the girl, she comes out in a robe, and now everybody's coming out the trailers. You know, it's about one in the morning. Everybody's coming out the trailers. And I just remember she was walking down in her robe and slippers and like, can't people just talk? We were just talking. People can't even talk anymore. <laughs> so that was, I guess that was her excuse. The dude came over and they were talking. And the funny part is, here I am, like 14, 15 years old, looking out the window going, oh shit, oh shit. Nobody ever came to me. 
The, the one witness that saw it all was me. And nobody came to my window and asked me anything. It was just, I saw it all play out. I saw him walking. I could look out my window. I saw him walking down the, because the, we didn't, listen, we don't have sidewalks in the trailer park. Everybody just walks in the middle of the road. Then you just get out of the road when a car comes. There's no sidewalks. So we saw him walking. Everybody saw him walking down the middle of the road. And then, uh, and then when got that he was on his way and then the dude jumped out the window with nothing but his drawers on. And then he came in and then we heard some commotion and then, you know, five, 10 minutes later, here she comes. He's like, I'm gonna go kick his ass. And then you, you know, you got, you got both sides of it. You got some people in trouble going, no, Johnny, just relax. It ain't always what it looks like, Johnny. And then you got the other guys, hey, Johnny, I'm with you, man. I'm with you, Johnny. <laughs> And then I just remember her in her robe. We were just talking. People can't even talk anymore. We were just talking. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were fucking. <laughs> it's just, and that was an average night in the trailer park on the weekends. It just kept getting better. But the okay, the same guy. This here's what's funny. The same guy that was walking Johnny. I'm just, I, I can't remember his name, but let's just say Johnny. The same guy that was walking Johnny, uh, we had an ice cream truck driver named Sonny. He was a black guy. Sonny was cool as shit. Sonny let, it was, it, like if, if you wanted an ice cream for, and it was 30 cents and you only had 25 cents, Sonny still gave you the damn ice cream. Like, go ahead, man. And he's always in the ice cream truck with his two daughters. So it was Sonny and his two girls driving through the trailer park. And everybody loves Sonny. And, uh, all of a sudden, you know, the trailer park, the, the ice cream truck runs from April to September. And then they go away and then April comes back. And when you hear the, din, 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 all the kids go crazy. So all, all growing up, Sonny was an ice cream truck driver. We all liked Sonny. All the kids did. So then one year, Sonny wasn't there anymore. It was an old white dude. And the old white dude was just a dick. Like, it, it, there's no personality. And then, uh, so Johnny, my neighbor... Said, it's so funny. He goes, hey, are you the new ice cream truck driver? And he's like, yeah. He goes, about time we got somebody white driving an ice cream truck. And the guy goes, what? He goes, yeah, we had a black guy. We about to kick his ass. He's about to get his ass kicked. I was like, really? I said, okay. Sonny had been driving to the trailer park for four years. There wasn't a word mentioned. Nobody said nothing to him. Now that he's not here, now you're going to kick his ass. Just like you kicked that dude's ass that was blowing your girl's back out. I think Johnny was full of shit. All right, y'all. That's the end of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow, day 796. I don't forgot what day it is. I don't know why every time I talk about the trailer park, I get that twang back. We were just talking. We were just talking. People can't even talk. In a robe and slippers in the middle of the trailer park, walking down the middle of the street. Kind of miss them days. Life was simple then. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.